So this bevel tool, it's very simple. I made it out of an erector set and an aluminum sheet from the hobby store. Uh, and it's just double-sided sticky tape to attach it there. The key is that this triangle here is 60 degrees. Uh, and when you lay this flat on a surface, the angle between the plane and the surface is 120 degrees. And that's what allows us to cut a nice uh, 60 degree bevel in the edge of the sheet. So I want to cut a 60 degree bevel along the edge of this. I have my bevel tool. First, I'm going to try to find out, I'm going to let, uh, try to find out where I should draw the line on here. Uh, rather than kind of measure the length, I'm going to do it just by using the bevel tool and finding the edge. So the bevel, we want it to be uh, widest at the, on the outside of the hexayurt and a little bit trimmed off on the inside. So that's why I have the inside of the hexayurt facing up. And I'm going to lean my cutting tool against the bevel here and then try, or against the bevel jig, and then try to make the bottom of the cutting tool at the bottom of the panel be right on the corner. So I know where that is. I'm going to mark it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. Now, it seems like I could just draw a straight line from one end to the other uh, using a long yardstick or something, but these panels aren't necessarily cut exactly squarely. Uh, you can verify that using a T-square. Uh, this one actually looks pretty good on this side, uh, but some of them maybe not so much. So after I have my reference marks on there, I'm going to use the T-square to make sure that the cut that I'm making here actually ends up perpendicular to the base so that when we join the two pieces together um, they line up nicely and they don't have to tilt in or out but they can all be perpendicular to the ground. So I have my reference mark there. I'm just going to draw a line. So now I have my line cut, or my line marked, I'm going to put the bevel jig right here on the blue line that I made, um, verifying that I'm going to think carefully make sure I'm actually cutting the right side before I do any cutting. Um, and then now I, with my left hand, I'm going to hold the jig in place so it doesn't slide around. I'm going to make sure that both ends of it are on the blue line. I'm going to lean the blade against it. Using my thumb, I'm going to hold the blade flat against the jig. And then I'm going to just cut through here, nice and slowly, at an angle. Now, after I've gone, after I've gone a little bit, my thumb can't really reach anymore, so I'm just going to slide this whole jig down a little bit, making sure, paying attention to the far end, and making sure that it's still on the blue line. And I'm going to do a little bit more cutting here. Basically, I'm just going to keep doing this all the way down to the other end. This blade's kind of bendy, so I want to try to make sure that I'm keeping it relatively straight while I'm cutting, and I'm not flexing way out and making it all curvy. I could maybe get a slightly thicker blade, which wouldn't bend as much, but this seems to be working okay so far. I finished cutting all the way down. You can see now I got a nice 60 degree bevel here, and I put another piece that's, 60, that's also got the 60 degree bevel, then this inside angle will be 120. We have six sides, which means we're going to have a total inside. All the angles have to add up to 720, and that will give us our hexagon-like shape. So you can see now I've cut all of the sides, and when I did the cutting, I did the beveling at the same time. So now I've got the outside. It's quite spacious in there. So that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, the next thing I need to do is either cut the top or bevel the edges. 
of the top here because while I beveled the seams that they're all connecting to now, we got to put the top on and the top also needs that same bevel that's on the sides.